Welcome back, folks. Uh, welcome to the 2018 hunting season. Uh, PA just started this past weekend, um, and uh, Virginia is starting this Saturday, October 6th. Um, so we didn't get much footage from down there in, in uh, Virginia. We uh, picked up a new lease, um, so uh, we're heading down this this Saturday. Um, so I will. Uh, we put in some food plots and uh, put up some stands and check some cameras. So I will show you the footage from putting in food plots. We didn't get a lot because we were real busy uh, trying to rush to put them in there, but I'll show you what, what we got. And then um, I will show you our hit list of what we got now, um, all still in velvet. So hopefully this, this, uh, this Saturday we'll be able to figure out what's out of velvet, what's hanging around, or if any other bucks are in the area, but we got we got a lot of nice bucks down there. Um, so I'll show you the hit list of what we got now. Hopefully those stay and more come in, but um, other than that, welcome and good luck everybody. Folks, we picked this area down here for a food plot. You can see it's uh, maybe uh, 10 yards wide and it's about 110 yards long. Um, and it's got some open cover over the top, so we figured it'd be a perfect place for a food plot. There's a big river down and a lot of bedding, the whole uh, west side here. And then the east side, there's an oak ridge down at the bottom. It's got a bunch of white oaks right there, and a bunch of deer bed up on that. And then there's an ag field up here to the southeast. Um, so a bunch of deer are bedding along the edge of that in this early season, so the early season they'll be coming through. But once it gets a little bit later in the prime, they're gonna run, they're running the, uh, the top or the bottom edge of that uh, ag field and they're running the bottom edge of this river. And so right here with a food plot, does are gonna hang right here and the buck's gonna be scent checking. It's gonna work out beautifully. Now it's a bunch of work because the river came, or the flood came through here, there's trees up and down and you know, four foot high weeds, but we're gonna get it done and it's gonna work out good. So stick with us. Beginning of food plot transformation. Got a lot of sawing and mowing to do. We got the tiller ready. And as a big flood came through here, knocked a bunch of, washed a bunch of trees down through here. So, gonna be fun stuff, but it's gonna be really nice once it's done. We'll see, stick with us. All right, midpoint through. Got it all mowed down and cleared off. It's gonna get there, the tiller's on its way over. And this is what it looked like to start. And we cut that log up. There's another big tree down around the corner, but we're getting there, so hopefully should be good. Should be the deer should be coming through, so we'll see.
Well, came together pretty nice. It's hard to see because of the sun, but spin around and show this way. It was. It's looking good. Almost done. Got a little bit more to go, and it goes for a ways down there, but we're making it. We're gonna get her and put some clover in. Almost done. <coughs> I'll show you it. <coughs> This side's already tilled. And we're working on this side. <clears throat> so you can see it's doing a pretty good job. We rented a BX24 Kubota with a 40 inch tiller instead of trying to do this with a disc and a full wheeler so it's working really well so far so good it's almost noon it's hot but it's coming along stay tuned and we'll show you the whole process 